Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we have another muggy and humid night in store with some patchy fog and some clouds as well. Very similar story to last night and the night before that. And it seems to be the case almost every single night now with that south wind being very persistent, bringing that fog on shore. Now you can see some areas of dense fog up in the capital city. So just about an hour ago, that wasn't the case. It was down along the coastline. But again, there's patches of fog that are in and around the bay and they're making their way up uh, north here into Providence. So here's the visibility map. You can see it's lower in Providence. That number dropped. It was at 10 miles at 10 o'clock. Now it's down to two and a half miles where Newport is up to 10. So you get the idea here. Uh, it's very location dependent. Westerly less than a mile as well. Radar. Things are quiet. Now looking at any wet weather expected in our area overnight tonight should stay on the dry side. Temperatures now lower 70s and we'll get into the upper 60s to around 70. So a couple more degrees will be off these numbers during the overnight period into tomorrow morning. My threat tracker for the next few days generally in the low category, the green one, which is fairly good. Uh, we are looking at some downpours though on the way for Sunday night and into Monday. And because of the timing right now during the overnight hours, I have us in the green category. But if that timing were to change, we may have to maybe change that to a medium category for the Sunday into Monday time frame. Sat uh, satellite and radar, wide view, a lot of uh, systems on here. One's offshore, low pressure. And there's a weak disturbance soft to the north and west that brought uh, some downpours and some thunderstorms to upstate New York and Vermont and New Hampshire causing some flash flood warnings up there. So uh, luckily for us, we are on the dry side and we're not seeing too much in the way of any wet weather expected. Maybe an isolated shower on Saturday. That's about it. And this frontal system off to the west, it looks very close to us, right? But it's actually going to be taking its sweet time to move to the east. So it's really not going to impact us until we get into again later Sunday and into Monday. So a couple more days for that front may really impacts our weather. Let's time things out for the overnight hours into tomorrow. Again, lots of gray, which is the clouds and the fog along the coastline. Very similar to today. That fog will burn off during the late morning into, into the early afternoon hours. And it uh, looks to be a mainly sunny day. Look, it's 3 o'clock. Notice the sunshine along the coastline. So a good beach day. I'm thinking late morning, early afternoon, like I just said. And then a few spot showers off to the north and west. A few may try to make their way into our area for the afternoon. It's not a washout. Any shower that does kind of form is going to be a brief and a short lived shower. Then the clouds build in for uh, later Saturday night into Sunday and then a similar story. This time though on Sunday, it looks like the clouds and the fog may want to last a little bit longer along the coastline. So again, it's going to be a tough call for beaches on uh, Sunday. So as we go into the seven day forecast, again, I told you the wet weather holds off until Sunday night into Monday. And right now the timing is overnight. So Saturday looks fine. Outdoor activities are good. Most of Sunday right now does look OK as well. And again, night rain Sunday into Monday. Showers continue into Tuesday before we dry things out and turn pretty warm for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of next week. So uh, not too bad. We have a few days of wet weather, but also some dry weather in there too. And the official advice though is get outside tomorrow and enjoy that weather. Yes, tomorrow is <laughs> looking pretty good, especially away from the coastline. All right, Stephen, thank you. Coming up in.